The year to their podcast, it's time to start the show. Be sure to hold on tight, here we go. Exploring all the different Disney destinations. Ear to there, it's time to start the fun. Hello everybody and welcome to the Ear to There podcast, Walt Disney World Word of the Week. So on these episodes of the podcast, each and every week, I'll bring you a different Walt Disney World word and then give you history, travel tips, background information, and more about that word. So like I always do on these episodes of the podcast, let's get right into it. This week's Walt Disney World word of the week is brought to you by the letter V. V for villains. So for over the last 80 years, Disney has brought more than 125 different villains to life from films, from sequels, from television, video games, books, and even villains that are only in the Disney theme parks. So you might be asking yourself, what characterizes a character? That's funny. Characterizes a character. Anyway, what makes a character a villain? Well, the AFI or the American Film Institute defines a villain like this. A villain was defined as a character whose wickedness of mind, selfishness of character, and will to power are sometimes masked by beauty and nobility, while others may rage unmasked. They could be horribly evil or grandiosely funny, but are ultimately tragic. You know what? That sounds a lot like my college girlfriend. (laughs) I'm only kidding. I didn't have a girlfriend in college. Okay, let's move on. So, of course, everyone has their favorite villain, and everyone has their least favorite villain. For me, I kind of go back and forth, because I like the funny villains. So I like Gaston as one of my favorites. I think Mother Gothel is one of my favorites. But there's no denying that there are much more evil villains than Gaston or Mother Gothel. I mean, Maleficent is as evil as you get. I watched that movie with my kids recently and forgot just how evil she actually is. Now, I know... In the newer movie, she's like misunderstood or whatever, but I still think she's one of the most evil villains. How about Cruella de Vil? I mean, a lady wants to kill puppies and make, what, jackets out of them? That's pretty evil, if you ask me. Anyway, what I wanted to do was go through the list of villains in the films from the earliest film, which was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and go all the way up to the most recent film. So who were the the villains in all of these films? Well, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the first villain, the most evil villain, was, of course, the evil queen, or the witch, or the hag, or the old lady. There were also a couple other villains in there uh, that are listed. The Raven, the Magic Mirror, although he's not really a villain. He's kind of just like, he doesn't tell the evil queen what she wants to hear, so he's not that nice, I guess. I don't know. He's not really a villain. Anyway, movie number two, Pinocchio, Stromboli. Awesome, underrated villain. I love Stromboli. I love... It's pretty terrifying when he says he's going to chop Pinocchio up and throw him into fire into the fire. Uh, that's pretty terrifying for little kids. Honest John and Gideon, they're kind of villains. I mean, they do sell Pinocchio to Stromboli and then later the Coachman, another good villain. Lampwick, not really a villain in the movie. He's kind of just... A sucker. (laughs) And Monstro, you can't blame for anything. Monstro is a pretty good dude. He's a whale that's just kind of hanging out and eating stuff like he's supposed to. I don't blame him. Then you have Dumbo. The ringmaster, I guess, would be the villain there. Although there's no real villain in Dumbo. Uh, Bambi, you have Man, of course, who kills Bambi's mother. He's a pretty bad villain. I'm looking at Saludos Amigos and the Three Caballeros. Those two movies I've seen. I'm not all that familiar with them anyway. The in Saludos Amigos, the villain is, and I'm going to butcher this, so I know I have at least one <laughs> listener and friend that's going to kill me for this, and she knows who she is if she's listening right now. But the villain in Saludos Amigos is, I, I can't even say it, Aconcagua, I think it's pronounced. I apologize to any of my Spanish-speaking listeners right now. And the villain in the Three Caballeros is uh, Toy Bull and the Piñata Creatures. All right, on to Make My Music, Chuck Rodriguez, you'd be very excited. We talked about this before on the best Disney movies that you've never seen episode of the podcast. Uh, The the villains in Make My Music were Wolf and, believe it or not, Teddy Taddy were the the villains in Make My Music. 
in fun and fancy free, we have Lumpshaw, Willie the Giant, who's always a cool villain. My kids love him in Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Uh, although he's not a villain on that show, he's actually a pretty decent guy. And the Dragonfly was also a villain in Fun and Fancy Free. In Melody Time, again, not a movie that everyone has seen. The villains were the police boats and the rustlers. Uh, in The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, the villains were Mr. Winky. Is it Winky or Winkle? Now I have to put my glasses on to find out what that says. Yeah, that says Mr. Winky. Okay, so Mr. Winky was a villain in The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. I've seen this. I haven't seen this since I was a little kid, so I don't... Yeah, that that's I should be handing him my Disney card right there. <laughs> but then the Weasels, Brom Bones, Brom's Horse, and the Headless Horseman. Of course, the Headless Horseman is a villain in The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. And it says, and his horse officially. What did the horse do? Anyway. Next on the list is Cinderella with some of the most evil villains in the history of Disney films, okay? You have Lady Tremaine, awful, terrible, abusive woman. <laughs> this movie probably wouldn't even be made today. It would not be greenlit by Disney. And you have her two daughters, Drizella and Anastasia, and of course the evil cat, Lucifer, who tries to eat Cinderella's mice friends the entire film. Awful, terrible individuals in that movie. Alice in Wonderland, you have the homicidal Queen of Hearts, the King of Hearts, Card Soldiers, and Walrus and the Carpenter, which, again, aren't tremendously bad villains. I mean, the other ones are, just Walrus and the Carpenter aren't. In Peter Pan, you have Captain Hook, who is much more sinister in Peter Pan than he is in later uh, appearances that he makes in the Disney Parks or in the Jake and the Neverland Pirates show. You have Mr. Smee, again, not really a villain. He's kind of a, just a guy that got roped into a bad situation by Captain Hook. And now he's kind of living out his life on the Jolly Roger. Not really. He doesn't have direction, is what I'm trying to say. Mr. Smee is an underst a misunderstood pirate with clearly no direction. Okay, on to Lady and the Tramp. Uh, Aunt Sarah, who kind of gets her act together in the end. Uh, Cy and Am which are the Siamese uh, cats and are, well, let's say they're not 100% politically correct these days. Uh, the rat, uh, the dog catcher, and a stray dogs were the official villains in Lady and the Tramp. Sleeping Beauty, I already mentioned her. Maleficent, again, I know that she's kind of redeemed in the newer movie, but she's, she's just a, an evil, evil villain. Uh, then you have... The Raven, which whose name is actually Diablo, which I did not remember. And Maleficent's goons, who, again, I think are just mis misunderstood. They're just working for the wrong lady, okay? That's just that's all they're doing. Uh, Sword in the Stone, you have Sir Ector and Sir Kay, both who are, you know, again, kind of get their act together at the end. Madame Mim, who scared the pants off me as a kid. I don't know why. But she was just a terrifying villain to me. I don't know why. I, I didn't like her. I had nightmares about that woman. <laughs> woman like she's a real person anyway i had nightmares uh pike the wolf and the hawk rounded out the villains in sword of stone the jungle book Shere khan scared me again another one that scared me half to death when i was a kid and ka was the other villain in the jungle book and the aristocats you had edgar balthazar and the milkman i honestly haven't seen the aristocats since i was a little kid i'm sorry aristocats fans but i don't know just how evil those two villains are. Then there was Robin Hood, and I love Robin Hood. One of the most underrated animated Disney films, I think, of all time. Prince John, great villain. Uh, I, I think of when he, when he hurts his thumb and he cries and he sucks his thumb and calls for his mommy. Hilarious. Great. And one of the first Disney villains that was really funny. And I, I think that's, that kind of changed the course of what the Disney villains would go on to be. And I loved uh, Prince John. Uh, Sir Hiss was kind of an unredeemable villain, kind of a not-so-nice snake. Uh, Sheriff of Nottingham, bad dude. It's not a good dude. Stealing money from little kids. Yeah, he just wasn't a good guy. And then there were the, uh, let's see, the Rhino Guards, again, the Wolf Arrowmen, again, just pawns in the game, guys. Pawns in the game between Robin Hood, Prince John, and the Sheriff of Nottingham. Didn't have a chance. 
They 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 got their position in life. What were they going to do? They were going to either be outlaws like Robin Hood, or they're going to work for the sheriff and the prince, and that's what they ended up doing. Winnie the Pooh, uh, the, in the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh, you want to say there's villains in this movie? That's fine. You have the bees, the heffalumps, and the woozles are the main villains. Again, not that terrible, not that terrifying as far as villains go. In The Rescuers, you had Madame Medusa, Mr. Snoops, who kind of got his act together again, and Brutus and Nero the Crocodiles. The Fox and the Hound, again, no real bad, horrible villains. Uh, Mr. Digger and the Bear were kind of the villains, but Amos Slade, the Chief, and uh, Copper. Well, Copper was a villain. He kind of turned, right? He and, and Todd kind of grew up together. They were buddies. Then Copper goes off on his own, comes back, and isn't so nice to uh, his buddy Todd. But they figure it out. They're buddies at the end. It all works out. The Black Cauldron, I have to admit, another one I haven't seen in years. The listed villains on the Black Cauldron are the Horn King, Creeper, Ordu, Orwin, Orgok, the Guards, the Gwithings, the Cauldron Born, and Dog. To be honest with you, you can have those guys. I don't know much about them. I saw that movie, I think I may have been 11, and I haven't seen it since. That's one that I have to revisit, because I know there are a lot of people out there that really, really enjoy that movie, and just as many who think it's terrible. <laughs> so I have to rewatch The Black Cauldron. That's going to be on my list. Then we go to The Great Mouse Detective. Uh, the main villain in that was Professor Radigan. Again, bad dude, not a good dude. Then there was Fidget, Felicia, Lizard, and the Mice Criminals. Uh, this list is saying Mice Criminals. Aren't all mice criminals? Don't all mice steal from <laughs> your house? I think they do. I want to call, just call the mice out on it right now and say, yes, mice, you are all criminals in my eyes. Every single mouse out there listening, you're a criminal. Simple as that. Okay, next movie up, Oliver and Company. Um, again, one, I, I know I've seen it. It's been a while. So the quote unquote bad guys at Oliver and Company, Bill Sykes, Roscoe, and DeSoto. Alley Dogs, and Louie the Hot Dog Man. I think Louie the Hot Dog Man is the guy who gets me my hot dogs on the beach in Seattle City over the summer. So, hello, Louie the Hot Dog Man. <laughs> anyway, uh, then on to the, what everybody calls the golden age, or the second golden age of Disney animation with the Little Mermaid. And the villains for the Little Mermaid were, of course, Ursula, uh, Flotsam and Jetsam, and Glut the Shark, or Glut the Shark, the shark was a villain for like two seconds. So I'm not including him officially in my own list. Uh, Ursula, yeah, a bad villain. By the way, when Ariel signs her voice over to Ursula on the contract, she obviously can write, and can she writes her name with no problem. Yet, when she's a human and she's with Prince Eric, why doesn't she just write him a note and explain the whole situation? I never got that. <laughs> Like, I get it, she can't talk, and she can't sing, but if she just wrote up a note that was like, hey, remember that mermaid that saved you, like, last week? That was me, and I don't have a voice for a couple of weeks, but we're going to be cool after, you know? Like, that would have stopped. I guess the movie would have been a lot shorter. Anyway, then there was The Rescuers Down Under. Again, one I haven't seen in forever. Uh, the, the villains for that one were Percival C. McLeach and Joanna the Guana. On to Beauty and the Beast personally my favorite disney animated movie ever and the villains for this one gaston the foo townsfolk the poor townsfolk did nothing wrong they should not be included in this there was mass hysteria in bell's village when gaston found out about the beast i don't think we should call the townsfolk villains but gaston and the foo again the foo wasn't really a villain he was just kind of the buddy to a bad guy. And Gaston was a bad guy. Like I said earlier in the podcast, he was funny, hilarious, great one-liners, pretty conceited though, and ultimately tried to murder the beast or did murder him. And then he comes back to life. I don't know. Either way, Gaston's a bad dude. Then on to Aladdin, uh, Jafar, just an evil guy, bad, bad guy, no redeeming qualities whatsoever. And he's really not even funny. So that kind of even makes it you know worse for him. Iago, I guess, kind of turns it around in the end. Uh, you still had to listen to Gilbert Gottfried for that hour and 45 minutes. And 
I'm reminded of bad thoughts with Iago and the Enchanted Tiki Room under new management. So I can't say he was even redeemed. He's just kind of a, a creep. <laughs> um, then it's Cave of Wonders. I don't know why the Cave of Wonders is a bad guy in this movie. Again, it's just protecting the lamp, right? That's all it's doing. Gazim in Aladdin. I don't even know who that is. Please let me know if you know who Gazim is. Uh, Prince Ahmed and Razul. Again, not really that bad. Uh, then we're going on to the Lion King. Scar. Yeah, Scar is a bad, bad villain. Kind of funny. He has a couple, you know, witty lines here and there, but he's just a bad guy or a bad lion. It's not really a guy. Then there's the hyenas, uh, including Shenzi, Banzai, and Ed. Again, they're starving. They just want to eat. Yeah, they got they get mixed up and they follow Scar. But can you blame him? Really? I mean, he's like the alpha in the room. I can't really blame him. Uh, Pocahontas. I've seen once. I didn't. It is the one Disney movie of the like Disney Revolution that I did not enjoy all that much. Governor Ratcliffe is the bad guy in that one as well as Wiggins. I don't remember who Wiggins was because I refuse to watch Pocahontas again. Then there's the Hunchback of Notre Dame or Notre Dame, however you say it, if you're a football fan or not. Fighting Irish. <laughs> I'm not a Notre Dame football fan per se, but I do come from a German and an, an Irish Catholic family, so half my family are huge Fighting Irish fans. Uh, I think for some reason... In the 60s and 70s, if you grew up then, you if you were Irish at all, you had to be a Notre Dame fan. Anyway, that's a tangent. The Hunchback of Notre Dame movie, one of the worst villains ever in the history of the Disney films, is Judge Claude Frollo. So here's what, he, what happens with this guy. He thinks that a gypsy stole a loaf of bread, right? So he chases her, catches her, kicks her in the head. And kills her. Yeah, he kills her with a kick in the head. And then he realizes it wasn't a loaf of bread she stole. She was hiding a baby. So what So what does he do then? He gets the baby, Quasimodo, by the way, and decides he's going to throw the baby in a well and kill the poor baby. Yeah, so Frollo is just awful. He's just a terrible, terrible guy. Thank God he gets stopped. Before he kills Quasimodo. It doesn't of course stop him from later. Trying to kill Quasimodo again. Just a bad bad guy. Okay. On to Hercules. Lots of bad guys in Hercules. Okay. We have Hades. Great villain by the way. Hilarious. Evil. But understandable. Because he's supposed to be evil. Uh, Pain and Panic. Great villains. Uh, Cerberus. The Titans. The Cyclops. Uh, the River Centaur. Whose name is Nessus. The Hydra, the Lion, Gorgon, the Minotaur, Harpy, Sea Monster, some kind of bird. Looks like it says Stymphalion, which I cannot pronounce. Nope, can't pronounce this one either. Irmanthian Boar, okay. And these sharks in Phil's Obstacle Course, which again, it's in an obstacle course. Should not be considered villains. But Hades is a really fun villain. An underrated one too, I think. Hercules gets overlooked a lot. Then there's Mulan. The villain is Shan Yu. Uh, the Falcon, I, and I'm going to butcher this pronunciation, so I apologize. Hayabusa, Hayabusa, the Falcon, is also a pretty bad animal in that film. And the Huns are the villains. Let me ask you this. Can you ever hear someone say, let's get down to business and not think of to defeat the Huns? Because I can't. I'm telling you. Every time, and it's not often that I hear people say, let's get down to business, but when I do, that's what I think of. Okay, on to Tarzan, uh, Clayton, another bad guy, not redeeming at all, wants to kill the, the gorillas, then wants to kill or capture Tarzan, bad guy. Uh, Clayton Stugs, you know, again, paid goons, what do you expect? They're going to follow the leader. Then there's Sabor, the leopard. I didn't know the leopard had a name, but of course, this guy's. A villain. Actually, girl is a villain. Of course she is. She kills Tarzan's parents, who may or may not also be Anna and Elsa's parents. I don't know if that rumor is true, but she does kill his parents, and then she comes back for him. He takes her out, but another terrible villain. Dinosaur, again, not one of Disney's greatest works. The Carnotaurus is 
the main villain, Kron, uh, the Velociraptors are the villains in that one. Emperor's New Groove, Yzma, one of my favorite villains. She's terribly evil. She does try to kill Cusco, even though he's not the nicest guy in the world. But she does try to kill him. Uh, Kronk is the other villain. He is redeemed. Again, he's another guy. He's not that bright. He's following a very strong personality in Yzma, and he's hilarious. So, And he's redeemed in the end. So Kronk's not that bad of a guy. But Yzma is a horrible person and a great villain. Then on to Atlantis, the Lost Empire. I'm going to put all the cards out on the table here, guys. I've never seen Atlantis. I've never seen it. So the I, I'm an, I consider myself an expert in the Disney parks, not necessarily the films. I just haven't. I never had the desire to see this one. So uh, apparently, Commander Lyle Turbius Rourke is the bad guy. There's a few other ones. I'm not going to go into it. Lilo and Stitch, Captain Gantu, again, not really a horrible villain. Uh, I, I'm going to pr- try to pronounce this correct. Jumba Jukiba, not not a bad villain at all. Uh, Treasure Planet, again, I've seen this one one time. Uh, John Silver's the bad guy. It's obviously Treasure Island. You kind of know how this one goes. So I'm not going to go into all the villains in this one. Brother Bear, never seen it. But apparently Denahi is a villain. Home on the Range, again, never seen it. I made a slim Mr. Wesley. The Willy Brothers, Rico and Junior the Buffalo are the villains of that one. If you've seen it, if you think I'm crazy for not watching Home on the Range, let me know. I just haven't seen it. Chicken Little, I have seen. Uh, the Aliens, Foxy Boxy, Goosey Lucy, all villains in the movie, all redeemed in the end. So is there a real villain in Chicken Little? I would say it's Chicken Little himself. <laughs> not really. I'm just trying to place the blame somewhere. Meet the Robinsons, another very underrated Disney movie. Uh, Bowler Hat Guy is a villain. I know I gave, I've given this movie out. Uh, I've given away the ending of this movie before, and I apologize. Just watch Meet the Robinsons. you really like it. Bolt, again, good movie. The director, Agent, and Dr. Calico are the villains of this one, and Calico's henchmen. Again, I'm not going to go into it. If it's it's not one of the most popular Disney movies, but check it out. Again, there, there might not be real villains in that one either. Princess and the Frog, Doctor Facilier, great villain. Not really funny. He's got a couple jokes. Has a couple really good songs, and he's a really good villain. Uh, Doctor Facilier, Shadow is another villain, and then there's some other some other ones thrown in there that aren't really bad villains. So and it will redeem like Reggie, the 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 guy in the bayou and his sons. They're not really bad guys. They're just kind of in a bad spot. And they're trying to catch a frog and uh, an alligator. So they're not really that bad. Tangled, Mother Gothel, great villain. Hilarious, I already mentioned her. The Stabbington Brothers, <laughs> very, very funny villains. Uh, they, I love their interaction with Flynn Rider in that movie. If you haven't seen it, it's another super, super underrated Disney movie. Uh, in the newer Winnie the Pooh film, the Baxen is the villain. If you haven't seen it, just watch it. I'm not going to give it away, but the Baxin will be back soon. If you've ever seen it, now you know what I'm talking about. Wreck-It Ralph, King Candy, uh, is a is the main villain in that one. And you also have Sour Bill, who's not really a bad guy, and the Cybugs, who again are just doing their thing. They all they know is eating and multiplying and changing. It's not their fault that they're evil. Frozen Hans, terrible villain, just a bad bad guy. Even worse because he suckers on into it. And so many of us believed that he was actually the good guy through a lot of the movie. Just a bad guy. And there's a Duke of Wesselton. Not really a bad guy. Just kind of misunderstood. Uh, Marshmallow. Hilarious. Not really a bad guy. Listening to Elsa. And Elsa was originally supposed to be the main villain of the movie, believe it or not. Really cool story. They, they wrote her as the villain. And then Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez made the song Let It Go. And after the director heard it, he decided, hey, we have to make Elsa one of the heroes in this film. She can no longer be a villain. So they rewrote a big part of the script. Big Hero 6, uh, Robert Callahan is the main villain. He's a real villain, if you've seen it. I know his daughter goes missing or is presumed dead and he kind of loses it. But, but he does some pretty evil stuff in that movie. So he's actually the true villain. In Zootopia, 
You have Bellwether as the villain. Uh, Duke Weaselton, who I love because it cracks me up when he's selling the bootleg Disney movies on the corner. Uh, and also, he's a playoff of Duke of Weaselton from Frozen. It's great. I love the Rams that are the villains in that. They're the Breaking Bad Rams from the train. Great, great, great villains. Very funny. And finally, in Moana, the villains are Teika, Tamatoa, and Akakamura. Uh, if you've seen the movie, I don't want to spoil it. It's still in the theaters. Great, great movie. Go see it. The villains are kind of all misunderstood, except for one who's kind of uh, not a very nice villain. But I won't tell you which one that is. And that is going to do it for this week's episode of the Word of the Week. As always, thank you so, so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this one. I wanted to actually talk a lot longer about the villains, but this episode went on quite long enough. These are supposed to be 10 minutes. I passed out of, passed the uh, 10 minute mark about 45 minutes ago. So I can't actually fit more into this one. And again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please just tell someone about it. I'm sure you have someone in your life who loves the Disney villains as much as I do. Tell them about the show. It would be greatly appreciated. Just remember, there will be a new episode of the Word of the Week podcast each and every Wednesday morning, as well as a regular episode of the Ear to There podcast each and every Monday morning. So again, thank you so much for listening. And until next week, have a great week. Bye-bye.